Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back as always. It is me, Molt. I'm happy that you guys stopped by for another episode of Quest of 2000 and Trope. <laughs> well, I just messed up that intro. Quest of 2000 Trophies. Alright, so as you can see, this base looks pretty good when it comes to resources and trophies. So I'm just going to set down a couple wizards up here in the top. Um, and then start to siphon in a couple more um, so that my wall breaker can get in there and get through. Um, and then drop that rage spell right there for my barb king and for the rest of the wizards as they come in as well as the healers. Um, I normally don't attack with wizards, but you know, I just felt like doing it. Um, I had 35 of them. I thought it'd be kind of a cool attack. So that is a very expensive army, but this uh, 200 plus thousand elixir um, resource count on this base is definitely going to pay for that. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, as you can see, my healers are healing up like two wizards right now, and there's a whole group over to the right that need healing. Um, it's kind of frustrating sometimes. I wish that Supercell would take a look at that, um, and that the healers would heal the largest group. Um, since they do do, I just said, said do do. <laughs> since they do heal, um, in a splash area almost, if you will, it would be really good if they could focus on the largest group. But as you can see, they take down the town hall right there in about a second. It took no time whatsoever with all their damage. And now the healers are doing awesome healing up all the wizards as they go around and uh, and crush all of these resources. So they are going to continue doing work. We have 45% right now, so all we need is a little bit more to get two stars out of that, uh, out of the 100. And we will be able to, there we go, so two stars out of three, um, 52%. Still working our way up. Not too mad about that. Um... And yeah, the healers are going to keep working. As you can see, we just have this one little group of wizards right here. They're just going to keep ticking away at this. Um, and I have a little bit of hope that they're going to head out to those gold mines. Um, I wasn't paying attention when I started the attack. I was too focused on uh, the resource count as well as the uh, trophies that I didn't pay attention to where all of the elixir was or all the resources were, and it is, in fact, in the collectors. So I have all of that elixir up top that I'm not going to be able to get to, but I think we'll be able to get out here to this gold. Um, but anyways, guys, uh, thank you so much for subscribing, everyone, recently. It's been awesome. Uh, it was definitely a good birthday uh, present to see uh, all my new subscribers and all the comments. So thank you guys so much for that. Um, <laughs> as you can see right there, somebody actually sent me a happy birthday text. So... That was funny um, that you guys got to see that in this raid. Uh, so yeah, we are still working our way up to 2,000 trophies. We're at about 1,950 right now, so you know it's uh, it's pretty close. It was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, now after this series, guys, I think what I'm going to do is the pick a corner. Um, so for those of you who voted on that, uh, good job. It, it seemed like about 90% of the people wanted me to do the pick a corner. Um, I'm excited for it. I know it's going to fail, but I think it's also going to work a couple times. So there we go with that one, guys. 15 trophies. Really, really good loot count on that. Over 300,000 in resources. So I'm not mad about it. Um, here's this next one. 26 trophies. Over 400,000 in resources. Um, let's see what we can do. As you can see, the air defenses are protected really well in the center. And they're both level 4 air, air defenses from the look of it. So I'm going to have to attack up here at the top um, and try and get rid of this one air defense so that I can at least use my healers effectively. Um, so there go the giants and there go the wall breakers as well. And then um, <clears throat> they will get in there to that air defense and then I will be able to drop my healers as well as, um, yeah. And as you can see, uh, there goes the P.E.K.K.A. and the dragon from my clan castle. But guys, as you can see, the clan castle on this base is centralized which is something that I always talk about, centralizing your clan castle. Uh, there's no way to draw them out when it's like that. It's very, very hard to draw them out um, because they cover the whole base and just the base. So if you don't have your clan castle centralized and you're in an active clan, put it in the middle because it will be very, very effective, I promise you. Um, so as you can see, everyone is moving their way around, um, doing really good. There's my first star from that town hall. Um, why don't we see if we can get ourselves up to that 50%. We're only like three buildings away um, at this point. And that will be another good amount of trophies um, for us. So we have pretty much all the elixir. We're starting to work on the gold. Um, and I really wanted gold in this raid because I had to upgrade my last mortar to level 6. Um, so once that is done, I will have all max mortars for Town Hall 8, and then I will finish up my Wizard Towers, so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, so there's two stars on that, and there go the last of my troops. Not a bad raid. I was definitely happy with it. 
Um, and then this last one has something special in it for you guys. Um, shout out to Vixter for giving me a surprise troop in my clan castle that you guys will see. Um, so I'm checking out this base and uh, there's this lone air defense down here. And once again, there are the clan castle troops coming out. I probably could have drawn them out, but um, I wasn't too worried about it. Just dropping that rage spell down and then bringing in my uh, melee and ranged attacks so that they can take out all those troops. So it wasn't that big of a deal, um, especially with the rage spell down. So my giants are working their way in, um, as is my barbarian king and the rest of my archers and uh, barbarians. They are doing really, really good work. Um, I definitely love the giant healer combination. If you know anything about me, you know that that is true. That's right. Um, so they are working their way around and nothing so far has attacked the town hall, which is a little stressful. Um, but there goes the clan castle troop, the clan castle. And as you can see up in the top left, there is a witch. So thank you, Vixter, for that witch. Um, she actually played a huge role in the success of this attack. Um, so we're about to get 50% right here. Um, so there is one star right there, and there is the witch doing work as her little necromancer um, skeleton friends run around as well up there at the top. Um, she begins to work her way down to the town hall. She is out of range of the mortar at this point, I believe, or she's very, very close because, as you can see, he's going to shoot in just a second and take out those archers. Um, but the thing that I love about the witch is that um, she does her own damage and then she sends out these skeletons that are an awesome distraction from the defenses. Um, if it wasn't for that, then she I don't think she would be that powerful because she doesn't do that much damage by herself. Um, neither do the little minion things, but um, they play an awesome role as distractions, especially when you have them in large numbers. Um, Vixter gave me this one in my clan castle. Uh, I, at this point, do not have a max level uh, dark barracks, so I cannot do anything about it. But as you can see, the witch right there single-handedly got me that town hall. So um, thanks again, Vixter, for that. And guys, if you haven't played with the witch yet, she's awesome. Ask for it. It is expensive at 250000 <laughs> I hope it's not that much. At 250 dark elixir. Um, so she is working her way around right there, taking one hit and then a second hit from the mortar, closing it out. But guys, we are really, really close to 2,000 trophies. Um, I am at about 1950, so I only need a couple good raids. So hopefully in the next episode, guys, we will be able to knock it out and get up to 2,000 into the Crystal League. Guys, keep calm and clash on. See ya.